Hello YouTube, welcome back to another watch review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sistin Datejust homage. Do a quick uh, box overview on this. It's the box in all its glory. Uh, some of y'all like these boxes. So, so what's going to come in it is a cleaning cloth with the Sistin logo. A little warranty card. A user's manual and the watch itself and there's a few links that are removed uh, on to the review so today we're looking at the uh, purple dial system date just homage um, obviously the brand is system uh, the actual model is a FY-107 it does have an automatic Seiko NH35A movement, um, which seems to be a really beloved movement in the community. Uh, I haven't really tested it too much, but uh, I do like it so far. Um, so this is uh, a Rolex date dress homage. Um, like I said, it's the purple dial which is actually, I believe this is the only purple dial homage that you can buy, at least on AliExpress. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, as you can tell with the dial, it has like that sunburst effect, which is really nice. Um, it does have a fixed fluted bezel. Um, does not have a screw down crown, but um, to adjust the date, you just pull it out once and then uh, you can adjust the date and then if you pull it out uh, twice it will adjust the actual time um, so as you can see with the sweep of that NH35 I can get it to it's a very nice sweep uh, it does have a sapphire crystal which is really nice um, it is a clear case back the rear I believe has a mineral glass, so just a FYI. Um, as far as uh, the bracelet goes, it is uh, polished stainless steel or three three one six L stainless steel. Um, it is twenty millimeters lug to lug. As you can see right here, I don't have the end links on because I've been having an issue uh, getting the aftermarket end links on. So that brings me to my next little dilemma that I had so this is actually the bracelet that came with the system it does have solid end links just a FYI and it's a nice bracelet but the problem is it's too long too large for my uh, wrist and I've seen a lot of uh, feedback about this system uh, bracelet and it seems like a lot of people are having issues with it being too long, so maybe Sisson can watch this and read the feedback and get a smaller bracelet because there's nothing more annoying than getting the watch. You've got the tools, but next thing you know it, you've got to end up buying a whole another bracelet. So I ended up buying this bracelet off of AliExpress for like $15, but I need to get the end links on this current one because... Uh, it's just really tricky for some reason. The end links that I have uh, are like hollow end links, where the ones that came with the watch, they're solid. And I wish this worked, otherwise I'd be rocking that. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, 20 millimeters lug to lug, um, Jubilee style bracelet, which is my favorite. Um, the class is a little different than what it came with. Here is the NH35 in all its glory right here. I love that uh, that clear case back. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for it. Let me get this all fixed up. And I'll be back. In the diameter of the case is 42 millimeters. Um, that is excluding the crown. It's 12 millimeters thick. To me, this watch actually wears 
I don't know, I think it works pretty nice on my wrist. Um, sapphire glass, like I said earlier, with the Cyclops. The Cyclops isn't too bad. I mean, it's average. Nothing right home about. Um, and as you can see on the dial, it's a Japanese movement with 24 jewels automatic with Sisson Sapphire. In my opinion, I wish they would have taken the Sapphire off of the dial, um, but it is what it is. It is nice that uh, right underneath on the side of the dial, um, right before the glass, you see the system logo all over there. So that is very nice, actually. Yeah, like I said, I just want to get purple because it was different. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? It is water resistance to 100 meters. At least that's what they claim. With a lot of these uh, Chinese watches, personally, I would say <laughs> wash your hands with them. Maybe even take a shower. Um, I'm not much of a diver anyway, so I wouldn't have to be worrying about that. But if I had to be talking to a diver, I would tell him, eh, maybe chill out on that. But then again, it is a sub hundred dollar watch, so if you're one of those type of people, I guess you can do that. Let me quickly put it on wrist so I can show you all that. And this is what it looks like on my about six inch wrist, maybe six and a quarter at the end of the day, so I don't have huge wrist. Yeah, that sunburst with the purple dial just makes it so different and unique. And I love that fluted bezel. Well, it looks like my camera died while shooting the on wrist. So we'll wrap this up with uh, some other takes of the um, on wrist shots. But here you go, six inch wrist. And I do have to do a quick loom test before I get out of here because I know some of y'all love the loom but loom's okay on this one and that is the loom so not too bad anyway guys uh, please uh, like comment and subscribe if you have any questions about the watch or any other watches I'll try to do my best um, to uh, fill you in. Alright guys, until next time. See ya.